about to head out and do our first ever park run. It's 8.45 and we need to meet at 9 just across in the park. So we're about, yeah, we're about to leave now. Wish us luck. Please be careful. Please try to splash the car because it's not very nice. Hey. We just finished park run and it was so good. We're both exhausted and now we're heading to go and get coffee. Yeah. We are covered in mud. It was so muddy and so boggy. Like. We have no idea what we're going to do with our shoes. <laughs> Maybe yeah, dishwasher, the uh, washing machine. Dishwasher. <laughs> but we, we need a coffee now. Yeah. <sighs> Saturday morning, wholesome day, tick. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Matt just said he felt like he was being chased by a pack of hungry lions. Yeah. <laughs> Come for a quick orange juice and coffee. Mm -hmm. I'll try that. It's very sweet. Where is Matt had to get a large coffee and look at the size of this. Mm. Good, isn't it? Nice. And I got a flat white. Well, four past ten. We've done it. We've done it. It's our beer. Look at the state of our shoes post park run. It's ridiculous. They were my shoes were white before this. <laughs> they need to go in the washing machine for sure. showered up after park run it was so good like so so glad that we actually went to it there was a point because it's right in the park right beside where we live we were we woke up at like eight and we were thinking snooze till half eight and then we were like should we go should we not go but I'm so glad that we went I was re I really struggled to do it though I've not run in a really long time and yeah it really took it out of me there was some parts where I had to like stop for like a whole minute and like walk but it's all part of it. It was really good. And it felt good because it was like the first park run for, of the new year. 
So we're gonna try and go next week as well. But yeah, really, really good. And then we stopped off for a nice coffee at a coffee shop down the road and then just came home, got showered, took our muddy shoes off, which are just like covered. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we'll probably put them in the washing machine. And yeah, I'm now about to make us some delicious bacon rolls because we are starving. And then Matt has a massage, a sports massage at two o'clock. So he's going to go down into Balham and do that and pick up, I think, something that we're going to have for dinner. And I am going to chill on the sofa all day. I run out of the Kardashians to watch, so I need to watch something else. We started watching that new show with Michelle Keegan on Netflix in bed last night. And it was so good. Like, we're kind of hooked. It's a little bit far-fetched and there's a few holes in the story that I'm kind of like, hmm, that didn't really make sense. But it's looking really good. I hope it's not going to take a supernatural turn though because basically her husband dies and then she thinks that she can see him. I'm kind of hoping that he just faked his death or something. So I don't really like supernatural things, but it's really good. I would recommend watching it. I'm going to make our bacon rolls now. Feeling good after that? Feeling good. Do you want anything on TV? Uh, yeah. Should we put something on? Oh, oh yeah, put something on then. Yeah, what were you going to watch? Just put them on. Oh. But I could put it on my iPad and then you can watch something on no, TV. No, just put the football on. I'm happy with that. How good is Park Run? So good. Glad that we Such went. new experience. Yeah, really glad. I only came 400. <laughs> Matt came 400, then I came 500 and something. There was like loads of people though. How many people were there in total? 6.50 Oh my god, I came kind of close to the end yeah, but There were some people We were near the back at the start so Yeah we were like, And actually there was a lot of walking Because there were so many people well, at the start like, It was, was like a funnel, hard. you had to walk quite far like, There was a lot of times where you couldn't really properly get it like, going Like it was a bit stop start Which is the learning for next week You need to get nearer the front mm. And we looked up the fastest times and there was someone who did it in like 15 minutes. 13 minutes. 13 minutes. But he's a professional runner. He's a professional runner and that's his job. So yeah, it was very good. We enjoyed it, but we were a bit wiped out, aren't we? Yeah. And now we're going to have bacon. Oh, it's blue skies out there now. We're now going to make our bacon rolls in the air fryer. Bacon sandwiches, actually, you know. Do you want your bread toasted? I'm going to toast one side of mine. Um... Yeah, ever so slightly. Okay. Oh, Mr. Bates in the post office. We need to watch that as well. Yeah, we do. Here we go. That is proper bacon. Oh my god, it's so loud. Why is everything so loud? You can't beat a bacon sandwich. Oh my god, this TV. Whoa. Why is it so loud? I've just been chilling while Matt's been at the shops. And for his massage, I've been sitting here reading Comfort Mob and also watching Madagascar, which is really out of character for me. <laughs> I never watch cartoons, but anyway, Matt's back now and he picked up some bits from the shops for us. I thought my favorite thing to do is show you guys what we get from the supermarket. So here we go. He went to Sainsbury's. Did you go to Sainsbury's? Hello? Did you go to Sainsbury's? Yeah, I went to Sainsbury's. 
Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's haul coming up. I look a bit crazy because I do have my hot water bottle up my jumper, but anyway. Oh, also, let me talk to you quickly about these because we picked these up from Waitrose the other day and I just think they look really good. They're just like really simple recipe cards and they have like three steps on the back um, and then it tells you like all the ingredients that you can buy. They're really good. I don't know why they're always after the till though. They should do them like at the door when you go in. Um, but yeah, there's a lamb pepper stew and a chicken and spinach lasagna. And I thought they're just really cute little easy recipe cards. So we're gonna make one of those next week. But let me show you what Matt got from the supermarket now. The first thing is low roll. We are literally like finished. We have no low roll left. Sparkling water. So we love to go down lime, lime cordial and sparkling water. And it's so nice and refreshing. I also asked Matt to pick up some of the cheap tortilla chips from Sainsbury's because we always seem to get like these Dorito crunch ones and they taste like cardboard. The texture is just really cardboardy and I don't like them. I really like these ones. I think these are like deep fried. They're so good though with salsa. So I'm gonna have some of those and finish off my wine, I think. Then we got some chives. I'm not sure what these chives are for. Matt, what are the chives for? Matt's doing, um, he, he's making himself for dinner tonight, some buffalo chicken wings, I think and he's making his own ranch sauce. So these are for that. Bin bags, these are the most overpriced bin bags that you can get. They're these little beast bin bags with this gorilla on the front, super strong. You always have to get super strong bin, ba bin bags in my opinion, because the thin ones just leak everywhere and break and they're a nightmare. But we've got a really small bin that like fits under the counter because there's not much space in here. So yeah, we have them. Also, sorry if you can hear the parakeets, outside in the park. They are these little green parrots that there's a multiple different stories about how they're released in London, but there's a big group of them that live very close to here. They're very, really sweet to look at, but they're so noisy. Okay, next thing, this is another one of Matt's. I'm presuming he couldn't get his waffle fries. So he got curly fries. He went through a phase of having like curly fries, beans, and some sort of like fried thing for dinner for a while. This is right up his street, curly fries. And then loads of chicken wings because he's making this chicken wing recipe. I'm not having any chicken wings. I do like wings, but no. I'm having salmon for dinner. So I'm gonna do salmon with broccoli, rice, and some like Asian flavorings. This is a big bag of sauces. We've got our lime cordial, because we needed a top of that. We have mayo that I requested. This is for me, my favorite. Sanex, because I think I've discussed this before, but we are both quite sensitive people. We like quite a plain shower gel. Then Matt loves all his different sauces. So this one is hot sauce shop, hot buffalo sauce. Perfect for wings. So this must be for the chicken wings. I thought you were making your own sauce. Oh, right, we're on ranch. And I, need, I still need to add butter to that hot buffalo sauce. Okay. Then we have some sort of like Cajun. No, this is Chipotle. Let's put on the wings before they go in the air fryer. Are you going to come and tell everyone or do you want me to feed it back? Okay. This is for the wings before they go in the air fryer. And it's a smoky Southwestern seasoning Chipotle chili, cape herb, and spice. We did some peppercorns, so we have a top up of peppercorn. Wow, well, we got everything. We have dried chives as well, bay leaves, the dill, <laughs> dried dill. What's the dill for? For, ranch, yeah. for his ranch as well. We got Yeah. You already asked me that. Yeah. Then we have garlic and herb seasoning as well, which is for. Oh, I needed to get garlic stuff for the for the um. Ranch, and they didn't have any garlic powder or whatever, so it's got that. A lemon, which again, I have no this idea. For the ranch. For the ranch. This is going to be a good ranch. Yeah. Matt loves to go to Sainsbury's, as I've already said. And then we have two puddings. So I think this is Matt's chocolate sundae, which is like layers of cream and chocolate mousse and <laughs> chocolate shavings. And then I have my lemon and lime posset. Thank you, my love. I do like that. And I got you the nice crisps. And you got me the nice, well, they're the cheapest crisps you can buy, but well, you like they're my request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're my favourite. You got dried chives and fresh chives. 
Yeah, I got the chalice first, then I saw the dried ones because the recipe did actually say dried. Oh, did it? Yeah, I think I can put the chalice on. Top. Yeah, you should. Okay, so that's everything that we picked up. The time is now four o'clock exactly, so I'm going to sit on the sofa for a little bit longer and then, well, I'm going to put this away first. Then I'm going to sit on the sofa for a bit longer and then I might have some crisps and a glass of wine. Want me to make you a sparkling water and yeah. wine party on? Or do you want a glass of wine? No, I don't want any wine today. No alcohol today for me. <laughs> All right. I came out with that thing like, I was at the front desk. I'm like, years old. You know, like, when it was fun, I was he like. He didn't hurt your neck, did he? No, he didn't, wasn't really doing much. It was more my upper back to be honest. I've taken my old shellac off my nails, which has been a long time overdue, and then kind of filed them down, just put a really clear coat on. Matt has been very busy in the kitchen. He's got some chicken wings in the air fryer, which I'm gonna show you when they're ready. He's got this buffalo sauce, which was this that I showed you earlier. And then he's also made this ranch dip, which does actually look incredible to be fair. And he also has some curly fries cooking. So it is like 20 past seven. We're gonna sit down and eat soon. I'm having salmon with rice and broccoli. And Matt's gonna do his curly fries and buffalo wings. And we're gonna watch the traitors. I've also been watching Made in Chelsea and having a little glass of wine. Um, Made in Chelsea is absolutely outrageous these days. Like the cast, Everyone's sleeping with each other. Everyone's cheating on each other. There's some girls in it that I'm just like, oh my God, you poor thing, you're on TV and you're being messed around by these awful, awful boys who are not even good looking, by the way. And yeah, it's just really sad. So we've been watching that, but we're gonna watch The Traitors in a minute and we're gonna eat dinner. I'm also thinking about buying this bed in because I really like it. I need to put my broccoli in in a minute. This is the first look at the chicken wings. I think they do need a little longer because there are a lot of them in there. Awesome. I need to. Okay, dinner is fully ready. That's chicken wings. I gave him some broccoli as well. Here's his sauce and his curly fries. Here's my mammoth piece of salmon. Also, Matt finds it weird that I cook my broccoli with my rice, so I've got like lots of bits of rice in my broccoli, but who cares? Also, best addition to salmon and rice is sushi ginger. And I've got sriracha and mayo, of course, for with the salmon. And I'm gonna try a buffalo wing. Yeah. Can I capture you trying your first buffalo wing? Whoa. I want your taste. Nervous. You're nervous? Or just like a pure. Yeah, come on. Then it would be too hard on my teeth. Hmm, it's like restaurant quality. <laughs> okay, pleased? 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, we are going to eat this and enjoy traitors. So, thank you so much for watching another vlog. I'll be uploading another one soon. I think we're going to film tomorrow as well. So, hope you're having a lovely January and yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.